Welcome back. I made a video on this protected text before, but this is a new one as I've started reusing it and I quite like it. Uh, on made on the 21st July 2022. And basically, all it is is if you don't have uh, a site that you that is if 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 the site's already there, you can't have it to create your own one. You have to uh, type in. Um, anything past the domain for protected text and that that's yours then so enter the URL it could be anything and it's yours if it's taken it's not so for example if I do my notes it's already taken it ask you for the password right to decrypt it so you can't use that one then uh, I've already used that one in the making of this video and it asks for the password so I'll do another one, which is my notes, exclamation, exclamation, and then that's available. So you can then claim that one. And then whatever you do there, it, it's uh, yours and you can then encrypt it, password protected. So let's go. And he says, great, this site doesn't exist. My notes, exclamation, exclamation. Uh, you can call it whatever you like here. And if it's not used you, that's yours and just remember that and it says create site click and that's it it's done now this is the site my notes just remind me and then you start typing the body of the text and that's the URL for this um, your notes uh, this is whatever you you wish it to be and it, if it's not available it's uh, it's yours right that every time you add something uh, you save it then it'll ask you for the password so let's type that in it says make sure you remember the password so I'll put that in bear with me and that's it save that make sure it's secure that's it that's yours now so whatever changes you make here they are yours for example if I go back and then type in right then that's now encrypted so then it'll ask you for your password and then you decrypt it and you're there that's how it works to add more tabs or more notes or make changes, you just keep adding it here, right? And if I add another one, I can then copy this one, which is their app. So you can paste it there and copy a URL or anything, you know, um, there you go. Every time you make a change, it'll ask you to save it. But once you've already decrypted it, you can it's it's unencrypted. You can then save it. And it says saved, right? That's how it works. Now, um, basically, this will work on uh, Windows because it works on any browser. It'll work on Linux and on a Mac because I use it on a Linux machine, Linux Mate, and this is on the Mac. It works fine. Uh, they have an app which is this one and um, I will pause the video shortly just to explain how that works so if you install that this actually works on the Android I don't know if they have another one um, obviously if you click on this one app it takes you to the Android page yes so they don't I'm afraid have any other one so for me it's fine I've got an Android phone I installed it on my um, mobile device and it's free, as I say, it's always free. If I go back to this side, go to this side. Protected. Sorry, but I came out of the window. Um, there it is, it's always free. Um, it's, um, it's a free online notepad with password. You can securely save your notes on the web and it's secured notepad with password, all your notes, ideas, notes, scripts, to-do lists, etc. You can store notes online 
at, at this and your site. It's all explained there and you can see how that works as I've just shown you. So if I go back to my site or my notes and then punch in your password. Oops, wrong one. Pretty secure in that sense. There you go. Now, um, yeah, as I explained, it works on Mac and uh, Linux and, and so forth. And then you just basically create tabs uh, as you go along. And uh, every time you make uh, changes, save it. So now I'll, to delete it, uh, if I'm going to get rid of that, I'll just do that. It says, are you sure you click delete this tab? You click, uh, once you're sure, delete it. Then save that change, the notes say change. Now, as you see, as you've just seen, I've added the password. I can change the password uh, after I've logged out uh, or, or once you're logged in with the encrypted password, uh, you just change the password there and it'll ask you for the, enter the new password and click save. And that's how simple it is. I'll cancel that for now. I'll pause the video for a minute. Right, back to the video, and um, I've downloaded the app and installed it on my mobile device and copied that uh, onto the app that's on my phone. And any changes I make there um, um, that you can sync with your online for, uh, notes here. So the way it works is you open your, um, in your app, you'll have encrypted notes and it will have show your title which is my in my case is my notes exclamation mark exclamation mark and to sync them on my mobile device I just download it click the arrow down key and then it'll say do you want to override the notes on your mobile device you say yes because you know these are the new ones that you've made here and you've saved them so let's do that Okay, I'm just doing it on my mobile device. It's downloaded them. And now, um, if I now create one on the mobile device and then upload it, so on your mobile device, you would go back, uh, open your encrypted note. Uh, so this is locked. This is open. I would keep it open if you've got fingerprint. Uh, on your mobile device that that's secure enough if you want to lock your all your notes if you're away from the phone you can do that but then you'll have to add your password to open the uh, notes again quite simple so now um, I have synced them and it'll say sync my notes right so if I make a change on the mobile device and upload it it should get a new note here so let's do that so I'm doing that on my mobile device and I just go add new tab and I will just say new tab and then test and save that on my mobile device. Now if you see this I'll just say upload to the uh, mobile uh, online so upload I'm doing that now it says the content of online note might have been changed in the meantime uh, override and it gives you an explanation which I'll uh, try and screenshot now as we as, as I talk to you I'm just doing that now quickly and then I'll say yes override now I've done that now, if I refresh the page, it'll ask for the password again. And I've made the change on my mobile device. And let's see, there you go. There's a new tab, which I didn't do here, and I just did a test. So if I now change that on my 
mobile device. Uh, I'll corrected it, a new tab, right? And then that, that's changed. And I'll say, yeah, save. I'll create another one, new uh, text note. Uh, and then um, save it. Then I go back to my mobile device and sync it by clicking the down arrow key, the down arrow, uh, down arrow, and then say download from protected text. And then it'll say, do you want to download note? Yes, that overrides it. Now, if I open the one on my mobile device and add another tech tab and say second note, um a second note uh, text test save that and then upload it to the online one it's uploaded to these notes and then if i do reload at so you can you can do reload and because you're logged in it shows the second one so second note text from my mobile device so this is how you sync your notes from your online to your app on your mobile. And on the mobile, you can create unteen. If you click the plus sign, go back. If you click that plus sign, you can create another note or another URL, i.e. Um, if I do um, close that one and then open my other one, Type in the password. And you can see that's there. And then I go on my mobile device and um, type in a test note there, add test mobile text, save that, and then upload that with the upload arrow key to the protected text online, reload it, and you can see um, it should come up here. Oh, it hasn't done it, sorry. Uh, it's asking me to override on my mobile device. So I'll override because it's saying you already, because it protects your notes online. It doesn't like making changes unless you're sure. And I've said override, now I'll reload it. And there's a new text that I created on my mobile phone uh, with, uh, on, on, on this URL. So I can then change the password because you, you know, you, you, unless you know the password, you can't access it. So I can change the password by clicking, as I explained, a new password and that overrides that one. And then you can have um, lots of uh, local notes, synced notes, uh, several URLs with my notes, exclamation mark, my notes, exclamation mark, exclamation mark. So you can add a list there. So you can have different ones for your like a te technical, legal, uh, home, uh, insurance, whatever, if you want to keep categories separate. Uh, hope you like the video and um, yeah. If you click on this text here, it just locks it and that's it. Unless you know the, if I click on anything like notes, it, it if it's taken, it'll ask you for the password. If you don't know the password because it's somebody else's, you can't exit it. If I do my notes, my notes, it's already taken. And, and, and unless you have, it's yours, like mine is this one. And I know the password you can't then get into it without entering the password and decrypting it like so. Okay, and a simple way to get out of it is like that. So it syncs notes on the, on the fly on, online and on your mobile phone if you've got an Android phone. Yes, thank you for watching and hope you like the video. Bye for now.